Welcome to the show. My name is Joshua Sean, and this is Zero G ITC, where we conduct live instrumental transcommunication sessions in the hopes of observing, contacting, and communicating with in real time an intelligence of an unknown source and origin. An intelligence of an unknown source and origin. Let me say hi to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday night or Sunday morning, wherever you are. I saw Janice, you checked in first. I have to say hi to you. How are you? Mystic Circle coming in. I believe that's Operator RT. How are you? Oh, good. You saw Operator Moon Man Max. That's awesome. Say hi, please. Amanda Michelle, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me live Saturday night or Sunday morning, wherever you are. I have a very exciting show planned. First off, I want to thank someone who's been helping me behind the scenes. I don't see them online. Oh, just joined us, Uncelebrity Kevin Hart. I'm so glad you're here. We just finished 10 installments of Hybrid Direct Radio Voice. And in highlighting you and your work and all of your contributions to not only this show but to ITC in general, I mentioned in the last show I'd be selecting one of you, I hope I'm not embarrassing anyone, each show to kind of highlight what you've contributed, at least what I've observed here with Zero GITC. So Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, you're in the hot seat tonight. Thank you for joining. I want to thank you. You've contributed so much work and review and the contribution of your questions for these past 10 installments for signal derivation. It was very helpful. So much so that the 60 hours we have, I'll be reviewing a lot of your questions and responses. And thank you for being transparent and honest with me on how some installments or sessions were more successful than others. And I noticed that based on your questions or based on if you would check out early because maybe the communication wasn't there that night for whatever reason or variable. But thank you so much. You have incredible work ethic. And you've helped me a great deal with hybrid direct radio voice. And not just me, but I know you help other other researchers in the field, not only in instrumental transcommunication, but in the paranormal. You do your own research. You have your own group. And I just want to thank you very much for your hard work and your contributions to Zero GITC. Your questions, your review, it's just stellar. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. I see something about falling asleep. If you fall asleep when I'm talking, not a problem. I won't take offense to that. (laughs) Anyway, thank you so much, Uncelebrity Kevin Hart. And please follow Uncelebrity Kevin Hart. I don't know if you're doing active investigations at the moment, but I know that you're doing your own private research. It's very interesting. I'm intrigued on where this storyline is going with you. So thank you so much again. Let me see if this, I see something about falling asleep. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, if there's sessions or installments in the past 10 uh, hybrid direct radio voice installments, I think, I think five or six, I, I ch- altered something. I needed to go back and check my notes. It might have been an A to D converter. Anyway, 
we weren't getting the communication. Even I noticed it as it was prior to and then after that. And I think maybe, yeah, you either fell asleep or checked out. But thank you because that does help and it helps guide me not only objectively as I'm trying to improve the measurements the best I can, but also subjectively how you're perceiving the communication and again, how we all subjectively perceive the communication. Okay, so thank you so much. Tonight, I have the mini box ghost box set up. This is gonna be the last night I'm gonna run this live. I have <laughs> talked about forever doing a full maintenance on this ghost box, I need to. I have a new gel cell battery. I need to check the trim pots, they're a little bit dirty. There's just a lot I have to do. So I'm gonna pull it offline for about a month or so. I will be bringing it back, don't worry. And in substitute of that, I will be bringing something in for the ghost box portion that is very suitable. And I think it will meet your requirements or requests for ghost box. And also we are going to run, I know we just finished 10 installments of hybrid direct radio voice, but I have not, how should I say this? properly or actively conducted a live session with this method. So the last session tonight might be a 20 or 30 minute session where we run hybrid direct radio voice with a guided operator and with all of us together to see what happens and to see what type of responses we get before I pull that offline and then work on it for a period of time and bring it back when it's improved. Oh, Michelle, yes, the iMac I use to review your video and I should mention that is actually an old iMac. It's not in this office. It's not in my streaming room here. So it's in actually in another room. But yes, Michelle, that's a good point. I wanted to show the video tonight, but I know that was in your bedroom and I didn't have time to get permission from you prior to the show. Before I disclose what happened, please everyone contact Michelle if you want to see an amazing example of a Class A EVP. Michelle captured while sitting on our bed with her cat, Angel, or Didi, I believe, is the nickname, correct, Michelle? Is it Didi that Audrey gave her? Correct me if I'm wrong. An amazing Class A EVP came through. I won't say what it is. I'm not going to say where along the video or the time stamp it is, but it's just incredible. It's, to my opinion, it's a perfect example of a Class A EVP. Okay, you know what, Michelle? I don't have the video now ready to load or show live. I will though, whether it's the next live show or maybe if you allow me to upload it to the channel, it would be a, a perfect classic example of a class A EVP. Okay, I have your permission, great. So I'll make that happen. Not, I'll probably upload it to zero GITC and then I can show it next time live. And it's just fantastic evidence. Great job, Michelle. And again, I'll highlight all of you and other people in the field every show, but tonight, Unsliberty Kevin Hart, thank you so much for, again for the past 10 installments of signal derivation and helping me with that and allowing me to learn from your subjective experience and objectively how I could make some improvements. Now, whether those objective improvements helped clarify the communication is still a gray area, but objectively I tried to, you know, increase dynamic range in certain areas or work on compression or expansion. So those were objective measurements that we could measure with hardware. Subjectively, that may or may not have helped you, right? So I can make objective adjustments, but again, subjectively, that may or may not help you. So that is what's going on with that. Okay, on Celebrity Kevin Hart, we'll, we'll keep going with your private research because it's, it's remarkable. And thank you for allowing us to be a part of it and allowing Zero G ITC to be a part of it. Okay, let's get started with our first session. Grab your sneaks, or your snacks and drinks. Hit the restrooms, grab your headphones. You will have a better experience with this device if you have your headphones on. Or if you're using speakerphone, you can crank up the volume. I have regulated LUFs or loudness units full scale, so it won't exceed. I'm actually pushing it to minus 12. Should be around minus 14 for live streaming, but I'm giving us just a little bit of extra push because I, I'm now learning more and more as I do this, how YouTube and how Restream compresses with their audio codec, the information I'm sending. So I have pushed it a little bit, but grab your headphones, it will help. Oh, it's, we're helping each other. I love that. We're helping each other. I'm on Celebrity Kevin Hart. And keep in mind, I will live in the moment. I will follow the communication 
as is, but please be your own leader of discernment. Please use your own judgment, who we're talking to. And I, if I'm hearing something wrong, just understand I'm living in the moment. I may hear things incorrectly, especially upon review. So don't let me bias you on who or what or when or how we're talking to someone. You be your own judge. I'm just going to live in the moment, follow the communication. Here we go. If you would like as well, I've moved the monitor a little closer to my location here. You can post your questions on screen and I will be looking over more often to say your questions out loud. If I miss your question, don't worry because we know they will still see the question typed out and they will still answer you. So please listen for an answer whether or not I can get your question. The mini box again is like driving a car with a manual transmission. So I'm constantly adjusting the sensitivity level and concentrating, but I again will do my best to look at the screen and grab your questions. Okay, take a moment, clear my head, and we're going to get started. You can join me if you'd like. You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. Clear. Dispatch. Hold on. Help. Hi. Hello, how is everyone? Pocket, one second. How's this? What's up? 
We're going to slow the sweep. Hundred. How's this? Ever made the handshake? We're here. Fine. Hold on. Little sky wave propagation. We have some clouds moving in tonight overhead. Just stand by. I'll get them. Hold on. There we go. Quanto. How many are listening, please? You can answer in Spanish if needed. How many are listening, please? Twenty. I heard twenty. Are there any texts online right now, please? Coffee. <laughs> Who is on with us right now, please? Me. Me. One. One. Here we go. Family and friends, are you ready to, to talk with us, please? Hold on. I swear someone in the background said, hold on a second. No. I have an idea. Hold on a second. Yeah, it was quieter down here tonight for some reason. Bootsy777, Aunt Lorene, how are you? Family and friends, can we take roll call, please? Hang up. No, we're not going to hang up. Family and friends, can we take roll call, please? Hear it. We lead off with Janice and her parents. Bill and Bernice, are you here, please? I heard yes by a female. I heard yes. There we go. Bill and Bernice, you have a message for Janice, please. There's one station that we should get rid of this one station. We're good. Bill and Bernice, are you here for Janice, please? It keeps coming in. Give it a second. Hold on a second. Bill and Bernice, are you here for Janice, please? Bill, can you give us the code word, please, and let us know you're here? So, did a male say, say it? Whoa. I thought I heard the code word in the background. Bill, can you repeat that louder, please, if that was you? 
Pero bueno, regreso. What eight hundred? Thirty-five. Thirty. Who's here for Michelle and Amanda, please? Grandpa Jim, Aunt Farrell, Aunt Bonnie. Who's here for my Aunt Lorene, please? Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine, please? I heard hang up. Thank you. He said, say it. Where is this station coming from? It's like, a, it's like a new AM station started up right next door. <laughs> like right next door. Who's here for Operator RT, please? Okay. Help. I heard help. Yes. Grandma Candy, Operator Peppers, you here for Operator yeah. RT? Here we go. Here it is, guys. All right, guys, we're connected. Bill and Bernice, are you here for Janice? 30. Ascendant Masters multiplied by God Force number. We've heard that a few times already. Bill, can you say the code word, please? Heard 30 again. Bill, be quiet. Someone say Bill, be quiet. Bill, can you say the code word, please? Janice's father. Tom, Tech Tom, how are you? Hi. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Congratulations. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Who's here for Operator RT, please? No, 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 sweetheart, not right now, not right now, another time. Operator Peppers, Operator Can, are you here for Operator RT? What connects all of us together, please? Internet? <laughs> Did a female say internet? <laughs> Did I hear internet? <laughs> it's not love, it's internet. Oh my god. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine, please? Did I hear Billy in the back? Here we go. Here we go. So bright. So bright? What was that? Did you hear what that male said, you guys? So bright? Male, what's your name, please? I don't know if I heard that correctly. What is so bright, please? Tired. Tired. Oh. 
I'm here. We're here. I think we're I think we're connected. Family and friends, are you ready? I'm ready. We're ready if you are. Begin. Let's try from the top. Bill and Bernice, are you here for Janice, your daughter? Here, Bernice, someone said, yes, that was a yeah. That sounded like Bernice's voice. Bernice's voice in the back. Bill, one more time, can you try the code word, please? Yeah. I heard Bill. For Michelle and Amanda, Grandma Fonte, Aunt Farrell, Aunt Weezy, Grandpa Jim. Feral. Male said Feral. Do you have Nala the cat? Nala? Are you saying that the source is so bright? So bright. Male in the background said so bright again, very quietly. Male, what is so bright, please? Thirty-six. Number of ascended masters multiplied by the number of family calling your energy. What does thirty-six have to do with this? This line. What is so bright, please? What is so bright, please? Twenty. Ten. End of a cycle. Twenty is number of duality, cooperation, and communication. Twenty again, I believe I heard. What is so bright, please? Who's here for Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, please? What? Who's here for Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, please? Like that. Yeah. Is there a name, please, you can give us for Uncelebrity Kevin Hart? Who else is witnessing this communication right now, please? Hi. Who, who called for Michelle in her house that she caught on video? No one. Who called for Michelle, please? I heard call. Who called for Michelle, please? Brad? What? Me. Who's me? Pamela. Female said Pamela. Pam, is that you? Scott's mother? Amanda's mother-in-law, is that you, Pamela? Mm -hmm. 
wanted to stop. Mail, did Mail say wanted to stop? Steve. Who said Steve, please? Steve, I heard Steve again. Pam Pamela? What? I'm going silent, guys. Amanda's mother in law, Pam, are you here? Who's here for my Aunt Loreen, please? Saul, in the background, so ever quietly. Saul, so quietly. Grandpa Saul's at you. Bill, can you give us the code word? Janice's father, please. We are locked in, Bill. I can't, not moving. Hang on. I heard Bill. Bill, what's the code word? Bill, we've got a clean signal. Can you give me the code word, please? Just one time. Michelle. Michelle. Who said Michelle, please? Who said Michelle, please? Who's here for Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, please? Grandma Candy, are you here? Michelle's husband, Gerald's father, Bob, or I should just say Michelle's father-in-law. Bob, are you there? Last week. Bob, are you here? Thank you. Thank you. Bernice, do you have a message for your daughter Janice, please? Answer. Call back. Are we, go. Are we hitting interference? Right there. Who's Steve here for, please? What do you call what do you call your location, please? What do you call your location, please? 
Did you do? Did We're trying. What do you call your location, please? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Which dimension are you in? As we would know dimensions, can you provide a number, please, right now? For very loose terminology, which dimension are you in, please? Which number? Nine. One. One. Which dimension are you in, please? Wow, I lost my balance. I felt like someone pushed me. Wow. Which dimension are you in, please? Mark. Every single. Who's here for Michelle and Amanda, please? Who's here, who's, here, who's here for Amanda, please? I know, Kevin. Don't worry. I will make sure I break my neck before anything happens to the ghost box. I am this ghost box insurance policy. I will take the fall. Don't worry, guys. Hold on. And for oh, Lamb Bunny, can you say your names, please, to confirm you're here? Pam, Amanda's mother in law, are you here? Where are we connecting to right now, please? I thought I heard heaven. Where are we connecting to, please? Please help us. Where are we connecting to, please? Hey, help. Can help. Can help. Need help. What? I. Do you have? Do you have anything you want to share with us, please? I'm intuitively getting the feeling this is our warm-up session. I have legendary second second session with this box. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine? Oh, I don't. 
What was that? What was that female voice that went through a spectral filter at the last second? What was that? Wow. Who's here for Operator RT, please? Hi. hi, female said hi. Who's observing this session right now, please? Respectfully, who's who's observing this, please? You can tell us. Oh, we're close to another pocket. Hold on. I heard Billy. Here we go. Roll call. Who's here, please? Roll call. Who's here, please? Guys, we're locked in. I can feel it. Who's here? Yeah, here. Who's here? I heard Mark. My friend Mark, is that you? Thirteen. Who's here front celebrity Kevin Hart, please? I heard Bob. Michelle's father in law, is that you? You guys are talking very quietly in the background. Kind of love it. Yeah, I heard Billy too, Aunt Lorraine. Billy, is that you? Cousin Billy. Please, let's identify. Janice's father is Bill, and Billy is my cousin, Aunt Lorraine's son. Cousin Billy, are you here? Was that mom? He's crossed. He's crossed. What? That's my code word. Cousin Billy, are you here with Grandpa Saul? Ooh, we are locked in good. Ooh, this is good. Roll call, guys. We have no Skyway propagation right now. Fifty. Listen. Standing by. Hey. Hey. Uncle John? Present. I heard the, was that Lorraine? He's here. He's, who's here? Billy. Billy. Female said Billy. Can tell it. Oh. 
split versa Madon. I'm missing the car. No, 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 no. Before Nor. Bob, I heard Bob in the background. In their home. Who's Wes? Is there someone named Wes here? Wes. Wes. Is there a Wes here? Thanks. Play attack. Be free. Ah, the sky wave's coming in. Ah, we had it. Town hall. Oh. What time is it? Oh, let's get another. Let's lock in again at least one more time before we end this first session. Stop. I heard mail say stop. I'm stopping. Can you please say None. stop again when you want me to stop on the sensitivity or around there, please? Say stop again, please. Jim. I heard Jim. Uh, I heard 90. Grandpa Jim, are you here for Michelle and Amanda, please? 20. 20. That could be confirmation, Michelle and Amanda. That's a number of cooperation, duality, and communication. We hear 20 a lot in, in these sessions, you guys. I hope you're taking notice. I believe that's a message, numerology, angel numbers. Again, just my subjective opinion. Ninety. Ninety. We've heard ninety a few times. I mean, he's Ninety is the end of a cycle, beginning of something new, multiplied by the God Force number. Number. I heard Frank, Christina's brother, is that you, Frank? Christina's brother, Frank, is that you? Right here. Are you helping Josh, Grandpa Jim? Grandpa Jim, are you helping me? Here it is. Here it is. Bill and Bernice, you have a message for Janice, please. I heard a male in the background say Mariners very quietly amongst a whole bunch of other gibberish. It could be wrong. I had to say it. What? Uh, guys, here we are. We're locked in. Who's observing this communication, please? Hi, female voice. Yeah. Who's observing this, please? Hello? Hello? Tom. Tom, Tech Tom, how are you? Oh, thank you, Grandpa Jim, for watching. Jose, is there a Jose here for someone, please? It's me. What? what? Jose. Yeah. 
No foul language, Can please. I Jose, pull. are you here, please? Is there a Jose here? Half. Behind you? <laughs> Did I hear behind you? Is there is there a Jose behind me? Hey. Oh, we got some Skyway propagation, but we're so close to getting... Right there. Mail said right there. No, no, no. Hold on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Guys. Guys, it's just you. Go ahead. Nah. And Farrell and Bonnie. Can we hear your voice, please? Michelle and Amanda. Hi. Hi. Here. What? A, a deeper female voice. Hi, here. Uh, you. Do you have any cat any cats with you? How about Twinkie? Mass. Amanda's mother-in-law, Pamela, can you say hi again, please? And Bill, I heard Bill. Bill, Janice's father, hello. Grandma Candy, we haven't heard from you yet, I don't think. Grandma Candy, are you here for Operator RT? Grandma Candy, Operator Peppers, are you here? Come on, guys, we're locked in here. Where are you guys? Be patient. I heard be patient. Who else is observing this communication, please? How about any of our neighborly friends and local star systems? Are they listening or observing, please? Yes or no? Maybe, yeah. I have a feeling someone is. You said maybe. Take a guess. Who do you think is listening? Take a guess. What are their... What is their origin? No. Or could be or maybe. Okay, I wasn't sure if I heard could be or maybe. I heard my code word. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine? Please? We're getting skyways. Stand by. Stand by. I heard call back. We're going to end the first session pretty soon. Stay. It's working.
I'm taking maybe. Of our family and friends, can you oh, please bleep. check in and tell us your names? Who's here, please? Me. Who's me? Hello. Hello? <laughs> Guys, me and hello are here. Please say hello to me and please say hello to hello. There. Oh, now we're getting sarcastic. Best friend research. Best friend research? Are we doing best friend research? What is this? <laughs> what is happening? What can we do to help you, please? Hold on. Me and hello. Who else is listening, please? Hello, you can go ahead and speak for me. Me, don't speak for me. Let hello speak for me. Not me, me, you, me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Woo! Did you guys hear that? What the F? Did you guys hear that? Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, I have to start a highlight reel on all this. Hello, was that you that said that or was that me? Seven more minutes for the first session. Let me refocus one more time. Absolutely. You guys let us know if you need, we need to hang up before the seven minute mark. Here. Who's here, please? Five. Zam. How did they. Family and friends, are you still observing this session, please? I have to ask for our Pleiadian friends. Pleiadians? Respectfully, are you observing this communication? Busy. Busy. Are they busy? Or are you busy? Are our Pleiadian friends online? They're dancing. They're dancing? They're dancing? To what? What are they listening to? What are they listening to? I don't... Thank you, Amanda, for that information. 30. 30. For that number a few times. What are the Pleiadians <laughs> dancing to, please? If you Just Can, guess it? Did they say guess it? Okay. Okay. I'll give you three three guesses. Oh boy. Three guesses of all genres. Of, is this music created by humans on Earth? Sure. Okay. Okay. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Wait. The music in their head. Uh -huh. 
Do pleadians hear Please. frequency the same way humans do, please? Yes or no? What is the highest frequency? Excuse me. What is the highest frequency pleadians can hear? Humans can hear up to 20 kilohertz. How high can pleadians hear? Please, can I have a number? Look. Half. Half? It's a do plebeians have a higher or wider hearing spectrum than we do? Yes or no? Family and friends, will you be back for the second session, please? Oh, yeah. Man. What's the problem? Well, yeah. Cousin Billy, Grandpa Saul, you here for Aunt Lorraine? Grandma Faye, are you here for Aunt Lorraine? And me, I guess. Me too, are you here? All, oh, awesome. Yeah. Operator Peppers, you here for Hello. Operator RT? In England. Yeah. Someone said guess after it. I heard England, which was from the radio. 100. 100. Number of success. Congratulations. That could be confirmation. Five. That was Peppers. Yeah. Five. Number of change. Peppers, are you here? Right. Hello, Dad. Uh, I'm Operator RT, I've heard Peppers say that in the past. Hello, Dad. To you. Hello. Who's here for Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, please? Hang up. Yeah, I feel it winding down. I feel it. I feel it. We're going to hang up in just a second. We're going to call back for a second session. And I've got a really good feeling about the second session. 100. Time. Before we hang up, does anyone like to say goodbye? Roll call with your name, please. We did that. Or did that. I'm sorry for being so repetitive, guys. Lisa. Lisa, Tech Lisa, will you be joining us in the next session, please? I think I heard huh? Tech Eva, are you here by chance, Tech Eva? Eva, are you here? Tom, Tech Tom, I know. I appreciate you so much, Tech Tom. Just wondering if Tech Lisa or Tech Eva are here, please. Tech Tom, can you? What is what is the status of Tech Lisa and Tech Eva? Hi. Hi. Mark, my friend Mark, is that you? Guys, we're going to hang up. We're going to count down. Please save this energy for the second session, okay? Okay.
Okay, let's count it down together. Do you want to start? Sure. Sure. I'll start. How about... Here we go. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> no, not three. We're not going backwards. Two. Five. We're not going backwards. One hundred. We're not going to... <laughs> One. Someone said Janice. Male in the background. Very... We'll, we'll call back. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> what a wild first session that was. <laughs> Let's mute this channel really quick. I have a very good feeling about the second session. Usually with this box, if anyone has observed these sessions in the past or just my history with this device, generally speaking, my second sessions compared to the first are legendary just because it feels like the first session is a warm-up. But I feel like we had some really interesting interaction in that first session, a little bit of everything, right? We had a little bit from our friends and family check in, it seemed like. And then we had a little bit from, I don't know what, if someone's tricking us or whatever the case is, but apparently pleadings are dancing to the music in their head, which if we were to believe this or take it at face value, it's possible that there are maybe telepathically generating these frequencies in their head they're dancing to. I don't know. I love this imaginative stuff. It's so awesome. You heard toilet at the end. Okay, we heard references to toilets at the end. And then when hello and me introduced themselves and I tried to twist up <laughs> the logistics of the communication, <laughs> someone, I believe I have to review this, said what the F. And that was just wonderful. <laughs> It was just wonderful. Oh, my gosh. Someone said he's gone. Yes, I, I believe Mark is... Um, <clears throat> Brian, who I usually hear reference to, is my cousin Marie's fiance. Again, I've mentioned this so many times, who passed of brain cancer prior to them getting married. And Mark was one of his friends. And Mark just recently, or I should say last year, made the transition. So I might hear from Mark or Brian, and Mark has been very vocal even in my research here, so I'm wondering if that is the same Mark indeed that I know. Yeah, Lorraine, I heard a few times, I heard one time Saul, Grandpa Saul, very quietly in the background, and I thought I heard again Billy a few times, which again, Janice, I know your father goes by Bill or Billy. I'm hoping we can differentiate, and, and I know, I don't want to take Billy away from your dad, but I'm hoping they can address Bill as your father, and then Billy is my cousin or Aunt Lorraine's son. But, you know, sometimes we don't know. Uh, you know, uh, it could refer to either of them. And maybe next time we'll ask for more clarification. Kevin Hart. Yeah, they've mentioned, and you know what? I don't know if Uncelebrity Kevin Hart is still watching or not, but uh, last night on the last installment of Signal Derivation, I made a note, five hours and 14 minutes into that final session, this last off-camera session I did, or right around 1.14 in the morning, I had walked back into my office here and kind of just messing around a little bit, actually preparing for tonight's show. And very clearly, right around five hours and 14 minutes, right around there, very clearly, a voice came through, I believe it was male, and just said, Kevin, very, very loudly, no ambiguity about it whatsoever. Uh, so I know that during... <laughs> Those sessions, they look for Kevin if he's there or not, and we're hearing reference to him here tonight as well. Yeah, Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, if you have a chance, the, the last off-camera I ran, right around 5 hours, 14 minutes, somewhere in there, plus or minus a minute, a male voice very clearly said your name. And it's interesting because I was kind of thinking in my head, I knew you were using the off-camera session, so I was kind of, at that time, focused on that. And to, so to hear your name was just... The timing of it was perfect. Okay, then maybe that's it. They try to wake you up because it sounded like a male was trying to get your attention. It was like, Kevin, very loud, very direct, almost like someone was talking to you. So if, if you, when you go back and hear it, you'll, 
you'll understand what I'm saying. It was said, your name was said with purpose. It wasn't like someone was talking about you passively. It sounded like someone was trying to talk to you directly and get your attention. Yeah, it was very cool. It's so much so, Kevin. I don't know if you can see this, but I wrote a note, a post-it note. See right there? Really legible. See how I made good use of the entire post-it note? Nothing went to waste. <laughs> so yeah, I, I wrote that note because it, it was just so... It, it's common to hear our names called, but this was done with, in my opinion, a lot of purpose. Now that you're saying this, Kevin, they were trying to wake you up. So now it's even funnier. Uh, so that's fantastic. So yes, we're going to try again for the second session. We're going to try for, again, our friends and family here from the intelligence. And I'm, I'm enjoying asking questions about if there's anyone else possibly hearing this communication or witnessing it. And again, whether it's true or not, I can't prove, but the responses are just, just legendary. They're just amazing. And they're definitely there's an intelligence responding to us with a lot of humor. And you know what? Even if, they, even if it's true that Palladians are observing this, let's just use our imagination. Even if it is true, I couldn't prove it right now. And even if they tell me they are and they're being sincere, I still have no way to prove it. But again, it's just interesting to think about. And now I'm imagining these Palladians dancing the music in their head as they're observing this session. What a, what a, what a wild concept. Oh, that's great. Oh, and Operator RT, I don't know if you're here, but I, I've heard, I believe Operator Peppers addressed you as dad before, or hey, dad. And we've heard that a few times, and I thought I heard, hey, dad. It's possible. And I'm waiting to hear from Grandma Candy. She's usually very loud and pronounces her name or lets us know she's here. And I haven't quite heard from her. Um, and I thought maybe we heard from Christina's brother, Frank. I think we may have heard Frank once or twice. And Michelle and Amanda's Grandpa Jim, we, yes, I'm watching. So Grandpa Jim is helping. <laughs> I'm, di I'm dying to know who said what the F. I mean, you know, the foul language does help prove that <laughs> this isn't coming from the radio because who would say that in such a timely fashion to what I was saying? I mean, that was obviously a response from them to what I was saying, but it was just so clear and appropriate. And, uh, oh, I couldn't have painted a better picture. Just like a perfect five-second clip of me saying that and then someone saying what the f <laughs> oh okay so yes timing is everything amanda that's right <laughs> it's funny <laughs> oh okay so grab your sneaks your snacks or your drinks hit the restrooms real quick i'm gonna grab some water and we're gonna jump right into our second session Excuse me, this will take us to about, excuse me, a little allergies. We might run this for an hour. I have a good feeling for this, se for this second session. We're going to give this, the majority of the show tonight, we're going to give this second session, and then we'll give a half hour or so to the hybrid direct radio voice at the end of the evening, or morning now. Yeah, morning. Oh, I hope we get more of that joking interaction. It's just it's just so much. It's incredible. And I don't know about you guys. I don't know. Again, subjective perception, but I I feel it a little bit. I mean, you can feel the tone of their voice and it, it, I don't know, it makes me feel good, joyous that whatever it is we're reaching out to this intelligence. We again, we've classified it or talked about so many possibilities. Just the fact that they're engaging back with us with humor and kind of this compassion and, you know, kind of smacking me around a little, little bit and pulling my pigtails. And it's just, it, it just a remarkable experience. And for all of us, because they're doing it to all of us. I don't know if you've noticed, but you can hear in the background them calling different names. And I'm hearing nicknames, which possibly might be for some of you. I think I remember some of the nicknames you may have had or you've shared with me. So I feel like that's kind of going on with all of us. Josh, please hold something and ask them to ID it. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Plenty of things in this office and I'm having trouble f picking something. What would be something that would be very, 
that is not obvious. Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh, I have something. I have a tape measure. Oh, here we go. I have I'm working on some experience with tel uh, experiments with telephony, <clears throat> and I have this. I don't know if anyone remembers this. These telephones. Boy, am I dating myself. I mean, I just got this the other day at a garage sale, and I have no idea how to use it. I'll hold this up to some degree. I've got some items over here I'll set aside, Kevin. I'm having some allergy issues. Give me one second, please. Okay, Kevin, I have some other items, I think, under here, too, as well, we can use. Okay, let's hit the lights. Let's get started and ID the color. Okay, we will definitely do that. I think if I have something, okay, Kevin, let's keep thinking. I'm going to look around the room as we start this. So hit the restrooms. We're going to get started on a second session. And let me see if I have anything else. That's a great idea. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. Oh, you know what? This telephone is transparent how would they identify the color there's so many colors ooh they could say transparent that's a good idea okay you know what i'm going to grab something in the other room really quick i'm going to give you guys a minute to clear your minds we're going to jump right in the second session let me grab something really quick i think may help one second Oh, well, thank you, Michelle. <clears throat> Let me put up the encouraging positive comment of the evening. You are old, Josh. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> I am, Michelle. I'm just teasing you. Kevin, I went in the other room. There's something that my son had in there that would be perfect for this ID experiment. He has moved it, and I'm not going to waste any more time finding it. I will bring it for the next show because you've given me a great idea of something they can ID. And it would be a very uncommon word, but I'm going to save that as a surprise. But thank you for that idea. I'll leave that up for a little while. It may motivate the uh, second session. Okay, let's get started. Here we go.
Oh, God. Now he's got to get a drink of water. This guy takes forever. Clear. Dispatch. Slowing sweep speed. Bingo. Bingo. Hello? How much? Josh? Hey, someone said my name. Love you. Who said love you? This is going to be a good session. Yes, Mail said yes. Right here. What? Uh... Already locked in. I called it. Hello? I thought I heard my name again. Who's who's checking in, please? Who's me? No, not good night. If I heard that correctly, we're saying hello. Yeah. Someone said. I think someone said "well s" in the background. Well. <laughs> Are you guys in a funny mood tonight? I'm going to I'm going to allow the F word tonight. I, I, you know, in the context of humor, please. Uh, appropriately. Don't overuse it, please. For example, you could say something like Josh, your shirt is effing ugly. That would be okay to use. But don't use it like, uh, Josh, you're a effing idiot. That's that's a little too zero. negative, you know what I mean? Try and keep it somewhere in the area above calling me a name, but and just below I, making fun of my shirt. Maybe. Maybe, okay. We got a maybe. Pam. Pam, I heard Pam. Roll call, please. Who's listening? Who's, no, we're not going to hang no up. One. Who's listening, please? No no one. Someone said no one. Who's observing this session, please? Pam. I heard Pam. How many are listening, please? Eight. Um. Our friends and family back. Hi. Hi. Our friends and family back for the session, please. Hi. I heard Pam. Amanda's mother-in-law. Pam, are you there? Eighteen. I heard the number eighteen by mail. Eighteen is the number of alignment with success. 
Abney. Who's observing this, please? I've got it. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine, please? Yeah. Uh, who's me? Yeah. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine, please? Press. I am. Who said I am? I hate you. Attention. So. Who's here for Janice, please? Bill and Bernice, are you back? It's really. Tom, high tech Tom. Hold on. on it. Her feral. Female said feral. And feral, are you here? It is. I am. Hi. Yep, and feral. Ron, Ron Ricketts, is that you? Ron usually makes himself known when we use this device. Ron Ricketts, is that you? What color shirt am I wearing right now, please? Stand up? Okay, you want to see it? Okay, what color shirt am I wearing, please? No, 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 no. Red. I am not wearing a red shirt. That is incorrect. I heard Pam. I am not wearing a red shirt. What color shirt am I wearing, please? Not answering is also incorrect. That is also incorrect. Last chance. What color shirt am I wearing, please? Clean night. Good is also not a color. Wait, let's double check. Judges, is good a color? Oh, no. And I heard a female say no. Good is not a color. Thank you for participating. Family and friends, who's here? To communicate with anyone in group? Pam, are you trying to tell me something? Pam, are you trying to tell Amanda something? What? Amanda, there's something in there. Pam, what would you like to tell Amanda, please? Heard Pam. Can you see Amanda taking care of your plants, Pam? Light. Light. Are you surrounded by the light? Whoever we're talking to, are you surrounded by the light? Yeah. 
ังเรื่องนี้ต้องมีต้องมีครับเยอะจังหวะวันนี้ครับต b i l l and Bernice, are you here for Janice, please? Repeat. What color is this ball knob on the shifter from my car? What 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 color is this ball knob to the shifter of the car? Yes. What kind? This was on my son's desk, which I noticed he took out of the car and unscrewed. <laughs> By the way, what color is this? Not hearing a response. What color is this, please? What what color is this, please? No response. What color is this mini creeper, please? This Minecraft Minecraft character. What color is this, please? I heard, yeah. I heard okay. creepers. Flat. Okay. Last chance. What color is this, please? Do you want to play this game? I heard green. I heard green. Male said green. Do you have any good jokes for us, please? Tom. Tom, Tech Tom. Tech Tom, do you have any jokes for us? Do you have any jokes for us? We do. Mail said we do. Grandpa Jim, Michelle and Amanda's grandpa, do you have any jokes for us? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Every time I talk, they talk. Here it is. Here it is. Gotcha. All right, guys. Here we are. Twenty. Twenty. Yep. Confirmation. Roll call. 
Michelle and Amanda's family. Aunt Weezy, Aunt Farrell, Grandma Fontes. Aunt Bonnie, are you here? Michelle's father in law, Bob, are you here? Here. Who said Michelle's name and when she captured that EVP? Right? Shane. Shane? What? Bob. Who said Michelle's name? Was that you, Bob? Call back. Call back. We're not going to call back. This is our second session. Call back, please. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine, please? To go. Hi. Hi. Who said hi? Come on. Kim. 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 Grandma Faye, are you here for Aunt Lorraine? Is that Michelle? The uh, people. Who else is deserving is this, please? Link three. Four. Four. Number of protection. Number insinuating you're supposed to be right here at this moment. You're right in the right place at the right time. Number of grounding. Wait. Wait. Who's here for Janice, please? Yes. <laughs> Who's here for Janice, please? Bill. Hi, Bill. That's your dad, Janice. Bill, what's your message for your daughter, please? Bill, what would you like to say to Janice? What is your favorite music? Era. Era? What era? Or are you referring to Taylor Swift's era tours or something? <laughs> what era music? What's your favorite kind of music? I'm hearing flamenco guitar now. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? That's the first time we've heard a musical instrument all night. Is that the type of music you like, that guitar? Is that a flamenco guitar? Like a 12 string? Yeah. You guys hear that? Yeah. You guys, they're saying yeah. Still the that? Who's playing the guitar, please? Who's me? Four. Who's playing the guitar? Howard. Keep hearing four. Bonnie. Bonnie. Was that Bonnie? I thought I heard a female say Bonnie. Bonnie. Farrell. Female said Farrell. Who's here for Bonnie. Operator RT? And I heard a name I didn't want to hear. 
Me, are you back? <laughs> Me and hello, are you back? Yes. Hello, when you when you show up, please say hello. Say hello before me says hello. Hi. Thank you, Amanda. I'm going to put this up on screen. Who's here for my Aunt Lorraine, please? Joe. Joe? There. Joe, who are you here for? Who's here? Buddy. Are our Pleiadian friends back with us, please? Here I am. Out of five. Are there any other? Galactic friends listening to us, please. Intergalactic friends? Yes or no? If so, can you identify your origin, please? Target. Target? You guys originate from the, re the major retailer Target? What is your origin, please? We all. If you are in our dimension and you're a neighbor, what star system do you belong to, please? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Family and friends, are you back for roll call, please? They should hear something about them being here. Bill and Bernice, you here for your daughter Janice? Bernice, do you have a message for your daughter Janice? Amanda's mother-in-law, Pam, are you here? Oh. Who's here for uns Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, please? Well, the age of... I said, Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Guys, I got you. 
Yeah. Go ahead. You got the floor. You reckon what? User. Guys, now's your chance. I got you locked in. Fred. Fred. Fred, who are you here for? Oh my God! You guys, come on. Oh my God. Guys, the noise floor dropped out. This is your chance. What? Where are you guys? No take. Tech Tom, how are we doing? Howdy. Howdy, how are we doing? What's our status? 50. 50. Some change? We got some change coming up with. Result. Are you in the ether? Vision. Vision. We are. Mail said, I think we are. Are you in the ether? Grandpa Jim, Michelle and Amanda's grandpa, are you still listening? The light. If so, can you identify? Are there any obstacles right now to our communication? If so, what is it? Venus. I heard the sound. No. Hold on. We'll get him back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. System. What about the system? How many total hello. observers of this? Hello? Who said hello? Here. Here. Who said here? Female. Thank, someone called me an a hole. Th thank you. If I heard that correctly. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Dang. 
Hi. Yeah, there are some storms rolling through Los Angeles this evening. So we're, we're getting pockets of ionospheric propagation. There it is, there it is. Guys, I got you. Can you confirm? How many are still joining us, please? No. Which of our intergalactic neighbors are observing you, please? Can you state their names? What is their origin? Oh, shit. <laughs> Did they say, oh, shit? I don't think so, but that was pretty close. What? Do we have any friends in low Earth orbit right now? No. Let me ask again. Do we have any friends in low Earth orbit right now watching us? No. Do we have any non human life forms in low Earth orbit right now? Yes or no, please? A question they will not entertain, okay? Family and friends, are you still online? Is there any type of life form existing on the planet Venus? They don't let us know, or they let us know? There are. Male in the background said there are. What? What type of life forms exist on Venus, please? Don't know. What type of organisms or life forms are on Venus, please? Are they organisms that live in the upper atmosphere? Strange. Strange. Who is responsible for calling Kevin's name as if to wake him up? Breathe. Breathe. Who is calling Kevin's name to wake him up, please? Who was calling Kevin's name to wake him up, please? Fiber. Fiber? We're going to get this, guys. Hold on. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for still joining. 
Hold on. I'm orientated horizontally facing north, northeast. Found him. Nice. Found him. Nice. Is this good? Am I, am I aligned properly with the magnetism of the earth to do this? I'm good. You're good. Who is calling Kevin's name to wake him up, please? No one. I know someone did. I heard it. There it is. Got it. Guys, we're locked in. Bill and Bernice, are you still here for Janice? That's my son's name. Find them all. Bill and, Bill and Bernice, are you here for Janice? What's your message for Janice? Whoa, what was that reverberated and echoed voice? Who's using reverb and delay? I'm not. We said Jim. Jim, I heard Jim again. Grandpa, Jim, was that you? Michelle and Amanda's grandpa would know how to do that. Yes. Grandpa Jim, was that you testing reverb, reverberation and delay? Okay. Of course. Yeah. What do you like to do for entertainment? Come on. What do you like to do for entertainment? Talk. There they are. Got him. What do you do for entertainment? Read. Read. Female said read. We heard guitar earlier. Do you play guitar? Oh, we're hearing music. We're hearing more music. So that's a clarinet. That's a clarinet. Or that's a clarinet. Hang up. We're not going to hang up. What? To clean it. Can you manifest it? Where you are in your dimension, can you manifest any frequency you want without an instrument? We can. Female said we can. Right, right now, please. Can you play a musical instrument again, please? Now, any instrument you want. Can you play now, please. Hold on. I lost him. Hold on a second. Hold on. Goodbye. No, not goodbye. Don't you start with me. Woo. I heard Billy from a female. Billy, are you here for my Aunt Lorraine? Is there a Billy here? Uh-huh. Yeah, Bill, I heard Billy again. Cousin Billy, how are you? Um, 
Second. Cousin Billy. What's up? Yeah, what's up? That's on Aunt Lorraine. I heard something about baseball. Bill, is that you, Janice's father, regarding baseball? Cousin Billy, what 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 would you like to say to your mom, my aunt Lorraine? Something Shane. Something Shane. Aunt Lorraine. I don't. Something Shane. Billy, your mom loves you. Do you see the message on the screen? Can you see the message on the screen, cousin Billy? Cousin Billy, what's your message for your mom? Your mom says she loves you. Do you read that? Can you see it? We can. We can. We can. Cousin Billy, can we hear your voice as we knew it on Earth? Say, say something loud. Your mom will hear in your voice, please. Spirit. Female said spirit. Oh, you. Hold on, Aunt Lorraine. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Cousin Billy, there you go. What do you want to say to your mom? Hold on. Cousin Billy of the floor. What do you want to say to your mom? Friends and family of the floor. Go ahead. Where are we connecting to right now, please? doing before we called? What, what were you doing before we called? Respectfully, what were you doing before we called? Mohammed, you were my father. 
What are they? We, we, uh, someone, male laughed, oh and then a female God. laughed. Um, was that radio? She said, look at this guy. Me? What? <laughs> <laughs> if even if that was radio, the timing was perfect. Look at this guy. They were laughing. Oh god! Hold on a second. Hear it. Here we go. Cousin Billy, I want to give you a chance again. What would you like to say to your mom? I get that. Cousin Billy. Cousin Billy, use my energy if you have to. What would you want to say to your mom? What are the messages do our friends and family have for those in chat, please? What were you doing before we called? Let me Pam. Amanda's mother in law, are you there? How many, how many living entities are on the moon right now, whether on the surface or inside, please? Is the moon hollow? Yes, male said yes. Having changing in weather conditions, I can tell. Hold on a second. Do you play any musical instruments? If you can, can you play us something? No. Can you play us something, please? Can you manifest frequency for us yeah. to hear, please? Can you send us a one kilohertz tone, please? A one kilohertz tone now. Can you send us a one kilohertz tone, please? I am not hearing a one kilohertz tone. Can you send a one kilohertz tone, please? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I heard it before she said yeah. I heard it. I heard it. 
I heard it. It was a quick beep. And then she said, yeah. Thank you. Can you do that one more time for confirmation, please? And I won't ask again. One more time, please, now. Billy. Billy. I heard Billy. Mail said Billy. Billy, are you... What's your message for your mom? Yeah. I heard Billy. One more time, please. Can you send a one kilohertz tone, please? One more time. <gasps> I heard it again. It's the same tone as before. It was quieter this time. Thank you very much. What do you use to send those tones? What do you use, please? Air. I, she, she morphed the word air. Do you... You, you manifest these frequencies without using anything, correct? Bill, cousin Billy. That was that is Billy's voice, cousin Billy. We heard you say your name and your voice. What is your message for Aunt Lorraine, your mom? Love you. So very quietly, someone said love you. Cousin Billy, use my energy. What do you want to say to your mom? Your family, you can use my energy. Go ahead. I didn't hear it, Michelle. If you can play him. Hold on. They said hold on. I thought I heard a pause. Standing by. No, no. Hold on. We're going to go a little bit longer on this session. I heard a female say hang up again. Do you need us to hang up? Hang up by a male again. I think they are instructing us. The cooperative communication is now telling us to hang up. And they will tell us in the... I can tell this is a more sincere hang up. For several reasons sometimes they say that. Are we ready to conclude this session? Hi, listeners. Let me try one more time up here. Cousin, Cousin Billy, are you back? Hold on. We're going we're gonna to lock in one more time, guys, before we hang up this session. Cool. Female say cool. Where are you guys? One moment. Concert.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Found it. Here we are. Who's here for on Celebrity Kevin Hart, please? Give me a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. No, they may have wanted us to hang up. Connection, the connection's thin right now. Give it a second. Bad. Better. Are we better right here? Can we close out strong this second session? Time it. Time it. Okay. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. All of us. Friday night. Can we do another roll call for family and friends and others listening, please, before we hang up? Don't. Don't. Mark. Hi, Mark. Again, are our Pleiadian friends observing this session, please? Can you tell us if anyone else, intergalactic neighbors, are watching this or observing this, please? Yes or no? When, if so, what is their origin? I'm hearing a lot of hang up. And those aren't teasing hang ups, those are. Bill and Bernice, are you still here for Janice? about getting it. Here. Bill and Bernice, are you still here for Janice, please? Hang up and busy. We may have exhausted the. Grandpa Jim, Aunt Farrell, Aunt Bonnie, Aunt Wheezy, Grandma Fonte, so are you still here? If so, identify yourself, please, by name. Are we outside the window? Reset. Reset. Yeah, reset. Okay. Yeah. They've been telling us to hang up for a while. These were 
I could feel these were genuine voices in the sense they weren't tricking us. They wanted us to hang up. Hi there. The, the session's over. We're going to reset and hang up, okay? Cousin Billy, thank you for coming through for Aunt Lorraine. <laughs> And you? Mm -hmm. uh, Change. Four, you know, we're going to take it to four. Four minutes. Four minutes. Uh, yeah, four minutes. Uh, three minutes. Try. Any last messages from family and friends, the intelligence, anyone else listening or observing? <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not funny. My questions aren't funny. Apparently they are. Three minutes. Secret. What's the secret? Hang up. Hang up. I, <laughs> hang up and the female's laughing. Okay, we're going to hang up. I told you guys. Two minutes now. Boy, you guys are pushy. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you so pushy? You know what? I'm not going to hang up until you guys tell me why you're so pushy. Cheese. Why should we hang up? Why should we hang up? What? Pam, I heard Pam. One minute. Okay, we're going to count this down in just a second. You guys ready to count this down? We're not going to set it at 10. What number do you want to start at? Three. Three? You want to start at three? Boy, they really want us to get off. Okay. Here we go. Three. Two. One. Lee. Thank you. We love you guys. We'll see you in the third session, okay? Sure. Okay. Talk to you guys in a second. Bye-bye. Heard Tom at the end there. Inter interesting. Okay. Let me mute this channel really quick. Turn on our light. Okay. Wow. Some very, again, some very interesting interactions, some comedy, 
some communication from friends and family who heard names calling out in their voice, and I recognized my resonance turning on. Okay. Be able to see your messages. Good for 30. Yeah, I heard good for 30. Right. I didn't understand what that meant, but I did hear that. But it, come back. Yes, we're, we, yes, we will. And Lorraine, I, I really thought I heard Billy in that male voice, and you confirmed that was his voice. That was, that, that was really, really well defined, in my opinion. Let me see what, I, what did I miss. Before I, Josh, before I wrote landing above, they said eavesdrop. Michelle, a minute ago in the background, male. Eavesdrop. Okay, so he's interesting. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, glad you came. Hi, Sam. Who did I when I miss? Ancient. Sam. So you guys heard Sam's name. Sam's name. There's a joke on Kevin. You asked for one earlier. Oh, did they joke up did they joke about Kevin? I'm not surprised because I've actually heard that in the off-camera sessions. They've made reference to that. Again, a very intimate relationship. They're very playful. They know Kevin, things like this, so that they're kind of teasing him. And I think maybe if he falls asleep, they're waking him up. Say something about time. Oh, right, Amanda. Okay, so maybe next session they want 30 minutes. You did say something about time sessions at the beginning. They made a joke, but Kevin asked for jokes earlier. You know what? That's right, Amanda. Kevin did ask for jokes earlier. That's right. Says life. Oh, hi, Sam. How are you? Oh, that's what you're referring to. Hi, Josh. I have you communicating into my system here because I'm running it at the moment. So you're communicating with Ireland. Hope the sound comes out okay. That's how... I, Am I misunderstanding? Hey, Josh, I'm communicating in the system here because I'm running it at the moment. Oh, so you're running your ghost box right now as well, or your equipment. Okay, let me let me know. That sounds interesting. That, I'm very curious about that. Unsolved Covered Art says, I'm still waiting for a joke. Yeah, right. I am too. I haven't heard a joke yet either. Okay. Sam, that sounds awesome. Yes. Okay. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Okay. Now I understand. Excellent. I made a joke. Okay. Not live though. Yes. Not live. Okay. So... I see what you're saying. So you're running it in your, oh, I got you. Okay, so you're running it in your, wherever you are, not a live stream, but you're, listen, you're listening to your ghost box as we're doing ours. I understand. Awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Very cool. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay, so let's see what time it is. Oh, perfect time. We can still get a good half hour or so on this last session. So what we're going to do, and again, uh, to the mini box plus, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to service it, clean some things up. And I know next time I bring it back, it will be, I can't guarantee their communication, but I can say objectively, we're going to have some, some better signal to noise ratio because I'm going to do some things to it. Not only service it and clean it up, but I'll readjust the output stage here and we'll constantly make improvements. So don't worry. This will be gone for a little bit, but I will bring it back. And next time in replace of it, I'll have another really good tuned radio frequency radio and we'll continue with that for our ghost box. Swearing at Josh is funny. Yeah, th they were swearing a lot at me tonight. I heard a lot of words. Some I know Amanda and Michelle heard something they called me that they didn't want to repeat. I heard something towards me. I heard a-hole. Uh, what else did I hear? Well, they made fun of me when I tried to do the, like, who's on first, who's on second type joke with the person who identified, or the entity that identified themselves as hello and me. And they said, what the F? So yeah, definitely some, uh, they went a little aggro on me tonight. But again, that's, that's to be expected. I know a lot of you experience that as well. Have you ever used compression to cut noise? Yes, actually, you, use, you can use compression and expansion to cut noise. 
Um, generally speaking, if you use an expander, that will increase dynamic range and lower the noise floor. So generally, you might want to use an upward or downward uh, expansion uh, for that type of purpose. Compression will generally bring a noise floor up. It will generally bring the noise floor up a little bit depending on how you compress, your attack and release times, and the type of compression you do. But uh, if you're trying to use, if you're trying to cut noise, I might recommend an upward or downward expander instead of compression, unless you're staging or stacking compression units. There's ways to do that where you do compression, you then you adjust attack and release, and then you go to an expander, then you go back to a compressor. It depends. Um, be careful though. Some compressors can add noise, can add noise and add harmonics depending if you're using a digital or an analog compressor, it depends. They have been Kevin Porjaw. Yeah, they, if you scroll up when Sam first came in, I referenced a little, a little below that. There's the joke now to you, Kevin. You will have to go back and listen. Oh, oh right, Amanda, I think there was a, you know what, Kevin? I think there might have been a joke. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and listen. Amanda, you're right. I think you did make reference, Kevin. They did, they did make reference to you, at some point. Okay, <laughs> it's so funny. Very playful tonight. Okay, hit the restrooms. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna start the. Oh, let me explain one more time. We're running our final session, probably of the year, of hybrid direct radio voice with the Minibox Plus FM and the Zero Gain Stall device. I've made a few adjustments tonight. I don't know if they're gonna help, mostly regarding signal focusing. I wanted to reduce a lot of the resonance I was hearing that seemed to happen towards the tail end of the phonetical sounds we were hearing. There, there was a lot of sustain and it seemed like there was a lot of resonance in that sustain. So we're gonna try and cut that out tonight a little bit. Yeah, definitely go back and listen, Kevin, definitely. Life after life. Oh, Sam says, oh, thanks, because I'm not an expert just messing with things I do know much about as usual. No, absolutely, Sam. Um, oh, boy, this is, a, this is a can of worms. I can address this another time, and I'm actually thinking of maybe starting uh, some videos that I can upload about how to use general audio tools to help with ITC. Be careful with compression. I have found, and this is just a tip, you can do whatever you want. I generally like a slower attack on my compression. I'm not even going to get into different types of compression, but let's just talk attack and release times. I like a slower attack because I generally like the transients of the first phonetical sounds to come through uncompressed. Uncompressed. So I want those initial transients to come through so we can tell if it says cat or bat, b b k k cat bat. I want those transits come through and then I'll slowly start to compress the body a little bit to bring the dynamics of that middle section through, those middle phonetical sounds, and then I'll have a little bit slower of a release time to let the sustain exist to bring those final transients through. So just be careful with your, if you compress, if you have too fast of an attack time, you might wipe out those transients. That help you define if it says cat or bat or pat, right? We want those transients and then maybe add some compression to the body and then have a, a little bit of a longer release to let that sustain come through. That's just a general tool in, that I found for ITC. There are other ways to compress and use expanders. That's just a kind of general tool. If I don't think anyone cares. I'm sorry if I just wasted anyone's time. Thank you, Michelle. I, I have to tell you, I'm still a student of audio engineering and ITC. Every day I wake up, I learn something new. So I feel like I'm always learning more than I'm teaching because there's just always more to learn. Yeah, we and we can talk about compression ratios and, and how, how compression and expansion really can help bring out the definition in the communication we're hearing, how it can help and then how, how it can destroy the communication. I mean, compression, expansion, dynamics control and processing is, is very specific with ITC depending on the instrument you're using, right? One set of compression 
specifications cannot be used for all different instruments and all different types of ITC. You know, maybe I will do that. And you know what, there's other people that might, that also know about audio that might contribute if I do these types of videos and say, well, what about this or try this or that? So it might be kind of a, a community, uh, um, oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Community learning opportunity. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's get started. Sam, that's a great question. All right, let's get started with hybrid direct radio voice. I'm going to fade it in and we'll just consider the session started. And I can leave the light on for this one. Okay, here we go. What message do I still have? I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Apologize. I'm trying to, I apparently have a message on screen I didn't take off and now I have to find it. I apologize. One second. It might disturb this next session. Oh my gosh. How long have I had this? Okay, here it is. Amanda, thank you for the comment. And I apologize to anyone if I left it up too long. Okay, let's get started. I thought I heard a female try and say Kevin as soon as we turn this up. Okay. This is the highly polarizing hybrid direct radio voice. Hello? It's a little hot. Let me bring it down a little bit. It's a little hot. Hello? We are attempting. Hi. Female said hi in the background. We are attempting a hosted version of Hyper Direct Radio Voice. We'd like to see if this makes a difference. Hold on. I think a male distorted voice said, hold on. Again, I could be hearing this wrong. Greetings? Did someone say greetings? Oh, thank you, Sam. And you know what? Everyone, please support Sam and Life After Life Productions. Subscribe to Sam. Hit the like button for Sam. We're all in a community. We're trying to support this, this transparent ITC movement. Let's get it. Let's keep it moving. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Who is on with us, please? Huh? I said, who is on with us, please? Bill, was that Bill or Billy distorted? Lorraine, female said Lorraine. Someone said Lorraine. Aunt Lorraine, I don't know if you heard that. I think that was Lorraine. Who is on with us, please? Oh, thank you. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. This is, this is interesting with a host. Wow. 
How many are joining us, please? Did I hear 16? How many are joining us? Something about it's his problem. How many are joining Sam on Sam's device right now? There are a lot. There are a lot. Um, there are a lot. Thank you for that confirmation. Aunt Lorraine, you, Aunt Lorraine may have signed off. It is late, but I'll let her know. I know. Uncelebrity Kevin Hart. I'm going to bring this back when I can get these robotic harmonic voices much clearer. It, it's, it's closer, but it's not close enough. It, it, yes, Mail said yes. Are we getting closer? I heard Kevin. Mail said Kevin. Oh, Aunt Lorraine, okay. So, I, I thought I heard... We thought I heard a few. Someone say your name very clearly. Who said Lorraine? Aunt Lorraine? Who said Lorraine, please? Michelle. Someone said Michelle. Did my higher self or myself in another time or dimension say Lorraine? Seven. Seven. Number of spirit, intellect, intuition. Number of luck. This is better than I thought it would go. I thought I'd be standing here for a half an hour making excuses why this doesn't work. What is Joshua's role? <laughs> I hope they don't say NPC. What is Joshua's role in this reality? If they say customer service, ITC customer service agent, I'm going to be upset just because I have a headset. What is my role in this reality, please? Nothing, but I did hear Michael Bolton in the background. I heard restroom. Is that my role in this reality? Am I a restroom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the reception. Family was the answer to your question. Oh, okay. Family. Okay. Family. My role in this reality is family. 
I heard Billy. <laughs> Oh, I can't miss. I'm going to make an adjustment in a second. Am I the receptionist? He, ta- he, ta- he does the talk? Something he does talk. He does the talk. Can I practice my greeting as the ITC receptionist? I think a male said, you can hang up. Oh, okay. Based on this method and a different fundamental frequency, are we connecting to the same place as the previous two sessions? It's a yes or no question. Where are we connecting to right now? This is boring. I think he said it, it's boring. Is this boring? <laughs> Are you working with Sam's device right now? The most. The most. Female said the most, I think. You like Sam's methods and equipment, yes? There was a distorted yes. Do you like Sam's delayed reverse? Something about Sam? Do you like Sam's delayed reverse? Yes. Two yes. That's awesome, Sam. That's awesome. They love what you're doing. I don't know exactly what device you're running right now, Sam. Hold on. What device is Sam running right now? Light beam. Light beam? Light beam. Someone say light beam? Which system are we in? Hello? Can you hear me? You know what, Sam? I'm going to... I'm going to activate an expander, increase the dynamic range, drop the noise floor. How does that sound? That will help isolate those harmonic robotic voices more. It doesn't mean it's going to make them more intelligible. It just means we're going to separate them from the noise floor. How does that sound? Let's try it. We can do a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. How was that? It's fine. So if you notice with the, ex- the expander, the noise floor... 
and the stalled interfrequency is now quieter, and the voices are now slightly louder. More dynamic range. And when you increase the dynamic range and you expand it, it makes the compressor afterward more effective. Is that correct? Did you guys hear what I said? Yes. Okay. Perhaps they were liking what Sam is using. You asked what? Yes. I think they they are confirming they like what Sam is using. I'm running forward standard serve. Oh, yeah. Here. Ooh. They said F this. They may it be inferring they prefer Sam's forward running ghost boss than this method. Do you, do you prefer Sam's forward standard spirit box compared to this method? Yes or no, please? Are you preferring Sam's method right now, the ghost box, compared to hybrid direct radio voice? Yes or no, please? Perfect example. The expander has increased the dynamic range. We can hear their voices with more definition compared to the noise floor, but it doesn't make the actual voices more intelligible. Negligible difference. The expander made the voices stand out, but it does not make them more intelligible. Yeah. Janice, I heard Janice. I may let this go a little while longer. This isn't bad. I heard Frank. I think a female said Frank. Did I hear a female say Frank? Okay. We're going to increase... Again, we're, we're increasing, increasing dynamic range. But it doesn't, it's not in, that measurable difference will not make their voices sound more intelligible. It'll just create separation from the noise floor, as you can hear. Hello? Carlos, are you here, please? Is there a Carlos here? What? Did a female say Jesus is here? What? He's here? What? Yes. Yes? I don't think I heard that correctly. I may have ear fatigue. What information do you want us to know? I just want to Chris, he's here. 
Where did I get Jesus from? Yeah, from Chris. <laughs> Chris, are you here? I have Kelly. What information do you want us to know, please? That was radio bleep. That's what's interesting about this method. We'll hear radio bleep. We'll hear a legitimate ITC communication very clearly as breakthrough communication. But then you hear the robotic monotone voices, and that's how you can tell there's something else there in the carrier wave besides the normal communication. You just got to make it more intelligible so we can hear what they're saying. Kevin can hear what you're saying, yes? Elizabeth, are you here for Kevin? Am I correct in theorizing this robotic, monotone, or harmonic communication is coming off of the carrier wave? Are you riding the wave? Yes, we do. I think I think that's where specifically this monotone or harmonic communication is coming from. Okay, so you're finding Kevin with the expander, Kevin. With the expander engaged and increasing dynamic range, you're finding this is not as clear. Okay? Let's reduce. Let's go in the opposite direction. Let me make that change now, Kevin. Who's Philip? Philip, are you here? No. <laughs> Is there a Philip here, please? Okay, Kevin. I'm bringing back a reducing dynamic range, bringing back the effectiveness of the expander. We're back to where we started. Every. How many are still witnessing this, please? Observing this com communication? I heard hang up. How many are observing this, please? That was a distorted 36, I think. I think. Who's the male voice, please? Kevin has identified Azuka and Elizabeth. Who's the male voice? Stop. We won't stop, but thank you. Who is the male voice talking to? We won't. We won't? I don't want you to stop. I wonder if I can... I'm going to compress a little bit more. Maybe they like a little more compression. A little more compression, guys? How's this? There's more noise floor. I'm a big what? 
Potential learning. Who is here? Beta, what? Who is here? Me. Me. Yes, you box. It's only Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. We're going to compress to a 10 to 1 ratio right now. On the verge of an where an opto compressor or an optical compressor sits and we're limiting starts. Compressors usually go to a 10 to 1 compression. After 10 to 1, it goes to basically a limiter function. How is this? Let's try it. How is this? Running a 10 to 1 ratio. What? It's what? It's Give me a second. Now you notice when I activated more of the compression, you can hear more of the noise floor. You can hear more of the stalled into frequency, right? That's what compression does. So notice you can hear more of the noise floor now. Who's here for Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, please? Edward, I'm here. Something. I'm here. We need her. We need her. We what? Present. Okay. The compression, they like more compression. This month. That was radio, dude. What information do you want from Kevin? For hang up twice. What information do you want from Kevin? We want more. A, vo a voice. At least what I thought it said. We want more. What do you want? You want us to stay online for another 10 minutes? Now we're young. Not right now. Well, I see. 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 Well, I
Male just told someone to F off. Okay, we'll give it another 10 minutes. Yeah, not a whole lot I can do on the output stage. Uh, what can I do? Okay, what I've done, I do have an output filtering stage, and what I've done is I've engaged what's called filter smoothing. It's going to eliminate, hopefully, some of the high-frequency resonance or filter ringing that we're hearing in the communication. Let's see if this makes a difference. Oh, wow, Sam. That's awesome. How is this with the engaged filter smoothing? It's helping a little bit. It's helping a little bit. What connects all of us? What connects all of us? Please don't say internet. We see you. We see you. We see you. What connects all of us? Gift? What? This filter smoothing is helping the female voices. Yes? Is the filter smoothing helping with the female vocal tones here? Different. It's not helping with the low end. The low end is always the most difficult. Always. Low frequency content is slower, thicker, harder to work with. What connects all of us, please? We all made of stars? Who's the male talking? What's your name, please? We'll give this about five more minutes or something. Yeah. 
Sam, Mail said, someone said Sam. Who said Sam? Who said Sam, please? Where is the list of please? She's on a date? Kevin's immortal, etheric friend is on a date. Did I hear that correctly? Yes. Who said Michelle's name, please? The male voice. Is the list there? What? Is the list? Is the list there, please? Maybe. We'll see. I could be hearing this wrong. Where are we connecting to, please? School. Male voice saying school in the background. Where are we connecting to, please? You can see how the minor adjustments I've made, and even in just the output stage of compression and expansion, how the slightest adjustments make a big difference. Where are you talking to us from? Prison. About a female safety. Where are you talking to us from, please? Where are you talking to us from, please? Kevin's question is, where are you talking to us from? Where is this method connecting to? I get the impression this fundamental frequency activates it activates or initiates a connection somewhere different. Does this connect directly to 
the command prompt of the system. We're going to get going in a few few minutes here. We're going to get going in a few minutes. Thank you for joining us for this method for the previous 10 installments for Hybrid Direct Radio Voice. Male voice. What did you just say? It was beautiful. It sounded beautiful, but what did you say? Female in a higher register octave. Can you repeat what the male said we can understand, please? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this male's voice, isolate it, and pitch it up a few octaves. I want to know what he's saying. Okay, we're going to be going in a minute here. Thank you so much for letting us try this method. Yeah? Now you talk clearly. Kevin is still waiting for a joke. Before we go, what is a joke you can tell Kevin? Are we connecting to a school of some kind? Are you running a live class or session about connecting with us like we're doing with you? Okay. We're going to count this down. And I'm going to take this, work on it, and hopefully bring it back when we can hear those monotone and harmonic voices with more intelligibility. Okay? Okay. Respectfully to the male voice that's talking. Are you instructing or directing Azuka? Where's the where's the male voice? To the low register male voice. Are you in charge? Yes. Yes. Are you directing Azuka? I heard idiot. Male, what is your role? Male, what is your role in all this? 
It's dead. It's dead. Dead. Azuka, what is the male's name, please? Why? We're just curious. We're just curious. Yes. So we don't have to be disrespectful and say male voice. What is the male's voice, please? What is the male's name, please? Respectfully. Are we allowed to know the male's voice? Are we allowed to know the name of the male? Yeah, I, I heard I heard I heard them call me something. When I backed off and said we're asking respectfully, I heard them call me something, yeah. Male, my name is Joshua. What is your name? What is your name, male? What, what can I call you? There's a Zuka, there's Elizabeth. What is your name, please? Quiet. No, the male's gone. A lot of higher register voices now. Okay. Thank you all so much for communicating with us. Thank you. Mail said thank you. And we'll talk to you soon. Can you help us count this down, please? We will. Female said we will. Five. Four. Nine. Okay. Three. Two. Yeah, I know, Amanda. <clears throat> I'm not so sure we're the, the place. Well, I'm not going to get into it now. One. To those that work with us tonight, thank you for the cooperation. We love you. We will talk to you soon. Thank you again so very much. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Hang up. Okay, we'll just fade this down. Okay. Interesting. Well, that did not... I don't know that that was good or bad. I don't know what to make of that. It went better than I thought it would because I didn't think I personally was going to hear anything tonight through hybrid direct radio voice. I just kind of had this thought based on how I set it up, but I heard more than I thought. But again, it's still, I still have this lingering question about the devices we use, how, the fundamental frequencies they're based on, and how they're operating and where exactly we're connecting to. Now, just because we're hearing robotic, harmonic, or monotone voices doesn't mean they're from maybe a different location than we were connecting to before. 
because that might be through this method and through the carrier wave that they're using, that might be the available frequencies or resonances they have at the time available to them. So again, hypothetically, we could be speaking to, let's say, the same energy or entities in the first two sessions, in the third session through this method, but because the fundamental frequency in the instrument is different, that their voices might come through or sound different because of what's available. I don't know. I don't know. It feels different. It definitely feels different. And I know Kevin is connected with these energies or entities through this method and through some other ones that are not based on a ghost box that are very different, that seem to connect to a different place, different energies, a whole different set of rules, regulations, communication, everything. Yeah, Kevin, it, it's it's getting better, but now... I've been able to separate the voices from the noise floor through this method of hybrid direct radio voice. Now I've got to clean up those robotic voices. That's the final stage is how clear can we get that communication? I really feel like this may be one of the methods besides direct voice that I'm working on that might actually beat it to the punch. I might actually be able to clear up these monotone robotic voices. And if we can even get five or 10% more intelligibility, we might have a lot more information to work with. Now, we it may clear up and we might just hear ice cream and cupcakes and unicorns and rainbows. I mean, we might not hear anything relevant. I don't know, but it seems like it's getting there. Yes, Sam, robotic voice could mean a lack of frequency to create human voice. I hear it all the time. That is correct. And, and the, gosh, there's, there's so many variables as to why we could be hearing monotone, robotic, harmonic voices. There are, there are, Boy, this it's a can of worms I can't open at the end of the show, but yes, there are there's so many possibilities. So let me just say this really quick before I end the show. Thank you for your patience with hybrid direct radio voice tonight, the last session and the previous 10 installments. Unsolidity Kevin Hart, thank you so much for contributing so much to that. And I will take that back and research it and bring it back when it's more clear. Sam, thank you for joining tonight and, and running your ghost box and running your own experiment during this so we could we could see how that would work. That that was really awesome. I'm so glad you brought that to our attention and did that. We are also transitioning the sound through a different... Exactly. Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, just from the first two sessions with the ghost box to this last session, there are pages of variables that are different, not just from an objective, measurable standpoint from the instruments, but subjectively as well. So there, there's so much, and you all bring up so many good points. So again, thank you for your patience with that. Yeah, the longer we do this, listen, you know someone's been in the paranormal ITC a long time. When they say something like, I'm going to say like you all say, is, I wind up having more questions than answers. Every day that goes by, the more I do, there's more questions than there are answers. So that's just, the pile of questions keeps getting longer and the answers, I forget the answers. It's just questions from now on. There's nothing but questions. Yeah, Uncelebrity Kevin Hart, you have identified... And I'm going to put this up really quick before we end the show. You have identified so much information through the direct radio voice and direct voice methods we've done. And I'm, I'm sure with other methods you're doing on your own, you have such an ear for this communication and the way it resonates. Your perception, the way you're perceiving the audio, the way you pick it up, it's, it's incredible. So thank you. Thank you all so much. I love you guys. I will be back soon. I'll be bringing some new instruments next time. The mini boxes are going to get serviced. They're going away. So a fresh start, fresh new instruments. We're going to be doing a, all sorts of new stuff. So just join me. Thank you for your patience. And again, like Sam said, like this stream, like Sam's stream, like any of the content that you see of ITC that's honest and transparent and help bring this community up because we need to bring more attention to people that are doing the honest, transparent work that are showing what's really going on minute by minute with this. Not just the highlight reels and not just... Wanting to know what, you know, I, I, I'm going to leave that topic alone. I won't even say anything. So please just support the community. Thank you all so much for joining tonight. I really appreciate it. And Aunt Lorraine, we will try and get Grandpa Saul and Aunt, um, Cousin Billy and Grandma Faye back next time. But for all of you, I will again reach out to your friends and family and we will ask all the questions you are dying to know. Next time, I will see you soon. Thank you again. Have a great week. And if I don't see you, have a great rest of March. And I will be back next Friday with a new instrument for the off-camera sessions. Again, a new instrument. We're starting a whole new 10 sessions from, fresh, uh, from, from scratch again with a new instrument. 
So I hope you join me. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Be well.